How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to talk about the World Masters, an event that debuted in 1974, 48 years ago. But today they've announced the prize fund and the prize fund is actually down, it's down drastically on previous years to almost lows that we haven't seen for many years, I'll get to that very soon. But the main thing first of all is to speak about the glory of the event and listen to some of these names I've wrote down. The role of honour of people who have won the World Masters. Eric Bristow, Bob Anderson, John Lowe, Phil Taylor, Rod Harrington, recently Glenn Durant, Dennis Priestley, Raymond Van Varneveld. Andy Ford and Martin Adams, Michael Van Gogh in the list is endless. However, unfortunately, this is the lowest payout in terms of prize fund since 2003. 2003, the year Tony West beat Raymond Van Barneveld in Bridlington. I remember that well because I was actually there myself for that one. And that year was the lowest it's been for 19 years. £16,800 was the prize fund then. In terms of the winner's check, though... This is the lowest winner's check we have seen since 1981, bar one year. One year in 1989, Eric Bristow, uh, Eric Bristow, Peter Everson, took a prize fund of around about £4,000. This year, in terms of pounds, it's going to be about £5,100 to the winner, which dates all the way back to 1981. I remember I said this event started in 1974. That would have been, what, seven years into the event? So since the seventh running of the event, this is the lowest prize fund bar one for the champion. So here are your prize funds. You'll see here that the different prizes here, the men will be taking 6,000. This is in euros, don't forget. So when we talk about the conversions, I'll sort all those out for you and I'll let you know in terms of pounds as well as euros. So 6,000 euros, 3,000 euros to the runner-up, sort of halves all the way down really until you get to the last 32. That jump there is the only jump that's not a double your money jump sort of thing, the 32 to the 16. And it's the same sort of format for the women, 3,000 euros to the winner and then that's sort of like half it sort of breakdown of the prize funds however the world masters will be taking place in Assan in holland which means could become quite expensive for a couple of people what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this little cost sheet as well i'm just going to work out the rough costs of this so this cost sheet hotel flight transfers and things in the uk transfers in the eu the parking and any sort of costs in relation to getting to the world masters I guess the first thing to do is look at the hotel. If we look at the WF site, they've got these hotel packages available here. Bed and breakfast is 57 euros per night per person, or the full board option is 75 per person per night. Now, I've been over to Assam before, and I would heavily recommend that you take the 75 per person, go full board, get the evening meal in there as well. So, 75 euros a night. We go to our hotel sheet here. And that is 75 euros and that is seven nights which is a total of 525 euros flight wise now again what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this for me obviously different people would be different price i'm going to do this if i was going to the event now if i've done a quick sky scanner here i can see that the cheapest available trip if i want to travel at the sort of weird hours of the day i can go from birmingham airport which is the cheapest one from the uk and i go to amsterdam that would cost me 123 pounds round trip that is without a bag i would need a bag to check in as well due to the fact that i'd be carrying my darts which would probably be another 25 pounds because i can't take darts in on hand luggage so i can put another 50 on top of that so we're probably looking at 173 pounds for the flight i'll have to put pounds down actually so i'll remember to do the conversion for the overall total so 173 pounds transfers in the uk that is going to mean i'm going to need to leave my car at birmingham airport i've done a price check on that and i can use air park self-service at 59 pounds and petrol for the trip if we have a look here for me is 60 miles birmingham airport to daventry which is where i live and I can do that probably for about £12. So if I take the £59 parking, that'll be £71 for UK transfers. Now, if you go to the WDF website, they've sorted some things out here saying that uh, if you go into the 
Amsterdam ship. Now that's the best choice for most players. 25 euros each way on the train. And then you're probably going to need to get a 12 euro taxi. So that's 25 each way. So that's 50 euros plus 12 each way is 74 euros in terms of transfers on this side. And I've already included the parking actually, haven't I? So I can take that one out. So I've got two calculations now. I've got a euro cost and I've got a pounds cost. 599 euros and 244 pounds. Because the prize fund is going to be in euros, I'm going to work this out into pounds into euros. So I'm going to convert my 244 pounds into euros, which is 283.50. So I've got 283.50 in terms of euros, which means I've got to add my 599 up with my 283. So I'll put my calculator back up again. So I've got 283.50. Add that to my 599 euros is 882 euros 50 cents. And that is the price that it would cost me personally to get myself to the venue in order to play. That doesn't include any other sort of costs or bits that will go along with that such as equipment or uh, any further refreshments so what we'll do we'll take this total of 882 euros and we'll work this out against the prize fund and you'll see that the quarter finalists make 750 euros so on this scheduling for a player living in the middle of the uk you are going to lose money by reaching the quarterfinal stages of the world masters in order to make any sort of profitable gain out of this you are going to need to make the semi-finals as a minimum so only four players coming from the uk would be players that made anything out of this event now some players are coming from further if we look at the lineup australia america will this mean that we're going to see a lower number of uptake on this this isn't too bad for those that live quite locally and maybe don't need as much hotel time or can be quite flexible in the hotel time and things but if you're booking flights and things and you go into the world masters you're going to need to book the week because it's spread out across the week and you do not want to go with the idea of oh, i'll just book it as i go and see how i get on because it's quite negative so you can see that's a disappointment in terms for the players moving forward with this version of the amateur game now obviously the event's got a lot of history say this is the lowest payout since the seventh installment of Vienna. so why why is it this way now there's a couple of reasons for this the, the World Masters used to be under the flag of the BDO. The BDO was then supported by all the counties and the Super League system. They recently moved over to the UKDA. That is a knock-on effect. This is a knock-on effect of that vote. Because people used to go and play into the qualifiers for these. And I believe you used to pay like a couple of pounds uh, to your county, which then would have moved on. Or th There was so many different qualifying criteria and routes that would have came through your county. You know, being unbeaten for so many uh, county games, like if you went nine out of nine, you could qualify through your Super League. There used to be like a, a Super League qualifier, then you'd go into like a regional qualifier to get into this. So there used to be lots of opportunity for them, which was another prize pool or another income revenue, which has gone. Now, with that in mind, that moves me forward to what could be done to progress and get this back on track. And that brings this idea to mind, the one pound fee. Now, when I speak about that Super League and county system that used to support the World Masters, maybe we could use the WDF system to support this in, in general. For example, every WDF ranked event, whether it's bronze, silver or gold, and even then you maybe you could stagger that a little bit, like £2 for a, uh, a gold, £1.50 a silver, a pound of bronze. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that to the big brains. But a £1 fee, so every time you enter a ranked event, Every single player pays a £1 supplement that goes direct to the WDF for major ranked events such as the World Masters, the World Championships. Now, if we look at an event such as the Dutch Open, which gets about 3,000 entries, there's £3,000. We go to things like the British Open or events where you get 400 entries. Like, I think the Welsh did it, didn't they, where they had two events. They're like a Welsh Classic and a Welsh Open. 400 odd players, pound on each of those, that's another £800. So... Now we're known to £4,000 just from them two events. These events happen all throughout the year. So a £1 supplement could be a good way to 
fund into these without having to go out and look for sponsors things like that because in this current climate sponsors are not an easy thing to come by because we are look in the media financial crisis is something that is heavily highlighted everywhere so maybe it's some time to now look at a little bit of self-funding um, of these events with self in mind self broadcasting so broadcasting tv rights things like that is a very good opportunity for companies to to make money now with this in mind maybe it's an opportunity now with the new modern day world of networking of youtube of home entertainment maybe it's a time that maybe don't need a tv channel as such anymore and maybe an opportunity to have self-broadcasting through avenues such as youtube or through small fee memberships something where we could have content throughout the year try and film all the finals for all the opens throughout the year with a subscription or a small subscription fee attached to that in order to see all that sort of content i think that would be something that would work as well especially for those that really enjoy uh, the amateur side of the game or seeing the developing players coming through throughout the years when we look at who's come through this system over the years and especially even over the recent years and we look at Bo graves just recently great example of someone that people probably would like to have seen coming through that system as well so maybe some self-broadcasting in there as well wouldn't be a bad thing this brings me to my next concern as well the world championship there's still no announcement in terms of the prize fund for that that tells me that this is going to be low and again it could be a record low which i think is a huge shame you know me i'm a massive massive dance fan and in no way is any of this a knock it's just an alarming sign of what's to come i believe there needs to be space for another sort of alternate to just the pdc i think there needs to be the breeding grounds there now in terms of things such as the mode of super series the adc there's all these things but nothing's got the history that the wdf has that role of honor that i said at the start these events are supported they are attended so i just think there needs to be some form of rejigging in order to make sure we don't lose these events because the way this is going at the moment is going to stop getting that level of support because there are other alternatives coming through which are going to be more lucrative to the player's pocket and if you're gonna make the semi-finals to make sure you don't lose money we're going to see attendance start dropping and we could run the risk of losing these amazing events so let's hope that doesn't happen and let's hope we can save them in whatever way we can so give them the support they need if that's going and watching and getting a ticket if you're nearby or whatever again use the comment section below guys to share your ideas do you like my ideas of the one pound supplement do you have any better ideas i'm sure people will be looking for ideas left right and center at the moment in order to make this work and progress on your way down there guys don't forget to hit that like button that's the thumbs up totally free to do so as is the subscribe catch you soon with some more edgar tv Thank you, TV.